cataractcoach.com. Trust yourself, but question the computer. Now look at this picture. This is where the computer thinks a 5.3 millimeter circle is. So you're using this overhead display here, heads up display, and you can see it projects onto the eye as I'm doing the surgery, and it tells me what it thinks a 5.3 millimeter opening would be. And this is to plan our capsule rectus. So we'll make our main incision there. And you can see again, there's that overlay and it tells me, hey, this is 5.3 millimeters. Okay, so we'll trust the machine here. Now remember, I also mark off my forceps. My forceps have marks at two and a half and five millimeters from the tip. So let's poke in here with the forceps. We'll start our rexus. And let's see, making the rexus here. And we can turn on that guide again. There's the guide. And we'll make it right up against that guide. So this should give me, again, if the machine says 5.3 millimeters, it does look a little small to me at the time. And so we're continuing it here. That's pretty good. And it goes around. And now we're continuing again. Do you think that's 5.3 millimeters? I mean, look at the marks on my forcep, right? And as an experienced surgeon, I can say, you know, that just looks a little small to me. And I'm making exactly the size it's telling me. There you go. There's 5.3, right? No. You saw my forceps there. Let's go to the end of the case here. Cataract's already out. Fill, clean up the capsule bag. Here comes our viscoelastic. We're going to try pop, do some capsule polishing. You can see it's a nice, beautiful, round rexus. That looks great. And is that the appropriate size? Again, this is why I tell you, you got to trust yourself and not the machines. So now we'll do a little capsule polishing. Clean up the anterior surface of that, uh, the backside of the anterior lens capsule. Cleaning up there. Let's go flip to the other side. So nice lens capsule polishing here. And it's a beautiful intact rexus. Everything else looks pretty clean. But we'll know when we get the eye well inside the eye. And we know the eye well we're going to implant has exactly a 6 millimeter optic. Now remember, there is magnification of the cornea. And so when you, when you think is a, a rexus that's appropriate size, when you're measuring outside the eye, it may not be the same inside the eye. So now delivering that lens in the capture bag, again, we'll put that in. This is a toric lens, so we're going to help line up the toric marks. Now you can see this machine also has a guidance system that makes a yellow line to connect the 180 meridian, and those three blue lines that are parallel show me where to align the toric lens. We want to line up with that middle lens, uh, middle mark there. So we'll go inside, remove viscoelastic, go behind the lens optic, because you know it's a toric lens. I don't want to leave viscoelastic behind the optic for fear of the lens rotating in the post op period. So taking all that out, clean that up. Good, there it is. And now get the lens back into position. And again, we can line up the toric marks, but really this machine is telling me that's a 5.3 rexus. So I know that's a 6 millimeter optic. And now the lens capsule on top of that optic, there's no way that capsule rexus is 5.3 millimeters, which is my goal here. And so to me, this looks more like a 4.8 capsule rexus. Now you're saying, what's a half millimeter here or there? I get it. It's not that critical. But I wanted to, to emphasize the point that you need to trust your own surgical judgment first. We're coming in the age of automation and machine learning and artificial intelligence. And you know what's better than artificial intelligence? Your natural intelligence. And you as an experienced surgeon have a lot of that. So we're going inside here, and you can see we'll get that AC washed out, get that viscoelastic removed. The toric lens is in beautiful position. It's exactly where you want it, I think. I mean, I don't know where the machine's getting lost here with that, the, the yellow line. But if you see, if I put on the rexus marker again, look, it still thinks that's 5.3 millimeters. And you know that optic is 6 millimeters, so that can't be correct. So again, my take on point is you're a surgeon with a ton of experience, and that counts for a lot. Trust your surgical judgment always. Your surgical judgment is always going to be better than a machine. Well, at least for now. In a few years or a few decades when the real robots take over and we have that Terminator effect, well, then we'll see. But for now, seriously, trust your own judgment. Thanks for watching. I want to invite you to submit a video. We have a resident surgical video competition coming up with cash prizes. In fact, I will be writing the check for the grand prize winner. You're going to submit a three-minute edited surgical procedure video with your voiceover using these links that are provided here. Now, you can see them on your screen, but if you want the clickable links, you're going to have to leave YouTube. Yes. 
Go to cataractcoach.com, the website, click on today's video, and then you'll have a hot link to all the directions of how to submit your video. It's coming up soon. It's going to be in June, on the 15th of June. Please, you want to enter this contest. Yes, you can win. Look also on cataractcoach.com. Search for the keyword contest, and you can see the winners from the last couple times to give yourself an idea. Any video can win. Check it out.